Hello and welcome back to EVSwap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but what we do here at EVSwap is swap gas cars to electric. And let me show you how we do that. All right, so let me show you some of the updates on the Frontier. So uh, first things first, I got the rest of it rust converted. Awesome. Also, we got the uh, some new tubes in the scooter. So the Ego scooter is ready to roll. All right, let's get to the important stuff. So uh, we got the whole dashboard torn out of the Frontier because down here is where the factory ECU was. So that's where I'm gonna put the Resolve EV controller. This is the plug for the ECU. So I've been tracing wires, figuring out which of those wires we can use ground, which of the wires do things like the speedometer and the temperature sensor and so we can make the dashboard work. And uh, I also found a couple relays that we can use to power up the various systems in the Resolve because the Resolve needs to get 12 volt when you turn on the key and the inverter needs to get 12 volts when you turn on the key. So over on the driver's side, we have these three relays and we can use these two for the ACC and the blower and use both of those to power up those two things. So that's really cool. We had to remove the entire dashboard to get the heater core out as well, because what we're doing is adapting the heater core from using, of course, the engine coolant to now it's gonna be electric. So here's the heater core box. We have it opened up. And uh, we've got the electric heater core, the PTC heater that will fit in like this. And then there's gonna be a couple gaps on the top and the bottom. So what we're going to do, yeah, so you can see there's a couple gaps here. I'm going to center this guy up in there and I may 3D print um, a bracket or something to hold it. And then we're going to use this stuff. It's a fire block fo um, expanding foam, which we can use to seal all the edges around the heater core. And then that'll just work like stock. Uh, I'll also, I've been working on the Resolve EV controller. So I have the firmware updated on here and I uh, soldered the jumper on the, the bridge jumper so that we can use the leaf throttle. And then I've also went ahead and labeled all of the wires that come out of the plugs. So I've got them bundled, like this is the BMS bundle. Um, over here's the PDM bum bundle. And then this is things like 12 volt and uh, brake relay, the fan relay. And one of these is ground, one of these is ignition. Uh, this is the bundle that gives the throttle. So we're just labeled everything really nice and neat so that there's no mistakes when it comes time to wire it up. The Resolve EV controller instructions are really good. They're really detailed and they just have a ton of information about how the system works and how to make it work. So I'm really impressed with this Resolve EV product, which is why I'm using it in the Frontier. So continuing on with tracing wires and getting the low voltage system working. We got the 12 volt battery from the Nissan Leaf into the Frontier, and we even were able to use the hold down bracket for the Leaf. It fits perfect in this truck, which is just awesome, because reusing parts saves money. Also, I started, I connected up the 12 volt system. The headlights work, the brake lights, the tail lights work, uh, windshield wipers, all the accessories are now live and functioning. So that was awesome that um, we got to confirm all that stuff was working. So the next steps for the motor bay here is we're gonna cut away some of these harnesses that we're not gonna use. Like this is um, the plug for the alternator and there's uh, engine ground and, and sensors and spark plugs, the distributor, all this stuff that we don't need, we're gonna cut away, but we're gonna keep some things like the temperature sensor and um, any of the 12 volt systems that power the accessories, we have to keep all that stuff. So I've got the engine wiring diagram, the ECM wiring diagram and all that stuff. So it just takes a little bit of time to go through and trace all that stuff, but then we can just snip it out. So that about does it for updates this week on the Frontier. Um, we should be getting the adapter plate for the motor soon, anytime now, uh, like today or tomorrow. And uh, then we can test fit the motor and the transmission into the truck. So yeah, that about does it for the Frontier this week. Thanks again for watching.